Yeah, and, and like I say, uh, one of the times, one of the experiences that I had was uh, when we were supplying supplies, to, trying to get supplies to the guys in the Battle of the Bulge from England. Mm -hmm. I, I, we went to a lot of bases, we went a lot of times, we take supplies to a lot of bases. The weather was so bad, right. and it was really bad for a long time. And we couldn't get, we, get the planes up there, but they couldn't, they had to come back because they couldn't see that drop, drop zone. Right. So one of the times, I, a couple of times, I went over in planes. That uh, I baked myself on the plane, and uh, several other guys did. We wanted to see, get the experience of being in the battle. Yeah, yeah. right, right. In the front, so we right. did. And, and uh, we were lucked out with the pilots uh, having some of the personnel being sick and not being able to go with that trip. So not a, there were several planes going on, on one trip. We loaded all these planes to drop supplies. So finally, that day that we, that weather cleared, the, the C-47s that we had loaded and everything, I baked on one of those, and, well, there's some of us baked ourselves on, and we went and we kicked the supplies out. And we were flying over the drop zone. You could see the enemy. We were, really? Yeah, wow. The Germans. And uh, the poor guys were down there. We can't get supplies. We, most of our supplies landed on where we dropped them. But parachutes you can't, can't control. Yeah, right. So some of that supplies landed on an enemy side. So th there was a guy there that I met later on by the name of Mike Martinez, who, sh who told me one time I was working with, we were working as janitors in a, in a schoolhouse, a uh, heritage school. And this is this is forty or fifty years later, right? Yeah, fifty yeah. years later. Yeah, we was I, I didn't know him before. Yeah, before right, that, right. we had gone. To, we was working at this place, cleaning this building, and we had been eating lunches for about three months or two months together. And so he he, he was telling me his experience at the Wild well, Balls, and he had some experience. Yeah, that he told me. Yeah, and so he told me about the supplies that, that we had kicked out and dropped on the enemy side. And he says, if I ever meet one of those fly boys that drop supplies. On the enemy side, I was going to shoot the son of a bitch. <laughs> I told him, please, Mike, don't shoot me. 